Okay, so I'm gonna do a bit of a solar upgrade today because I've got a couple of extra solar panels now. I got them for a good deal, so um, I went and picked up two more. So we're gonna have a thousand watts of solar. So I'm just gonna extend this over here a bit and add some more solar powers, so solar powers, solar panels. So I've got to find some bits of wood and I'm gonna do the same thing and just extend it over. All this is gonna move at some point, but it won't be for years yet. So um, it's kind of a, temporary but you know worth doing because it's going to be there for quite a long time so i'm going to collect some materials and we'll start digging some little holes and putting some posts in okay i got the materials cut put some points on them so i can bang them in and now you just get a time lapse watch me build it Okay, got another two panels up. Just got to wire them up and that now. Uh, a bit tatty and scruffy like the other ones, so they match. Like I say, once there's a building out here, these will go on a building roof. But for now, they just uh, they're going to be there for a couple of years like that. The remnants of an injury. Right, so because I've hurt my hand, I can't do much with the uh, with the solar. That's uh, the solar with the uh, hydro, and also I'm waiting for some pipe. So I'm going to get the solar panels uh, wired up properly. So I've got some, uh, I'm going to do them properly with MC4 connectors. I don't really like these connectors, but they are the industry standard and it's what's on the solar panels, so I use them. So I've got those and those ones. So we're going to go out and crimple them together. Obviously you've got, um, the solar panels have got to be connected in series and then in parallel so the two, two, two of the solar panels are connected together then the other two are connected together and then both of those are then connected in parallel by these leads so gonna go out there and figure it out and then uh, we'll start wiring them up so I'll just uh, show you how to do one of these connectors here so i got to do a female one here so we put the little thing over there like that state of my hands look <laughs> all cut up and then that goes in there like that and that's got too much of a thing sticking out of it there so we trim that down a bit like that. the female connector has the small pin take the small pin then that goes in there and then we crimp that down like that crimped it's not the right crimping tool but it works so then we pop the female connector end onto there like that and that pushes in there and that screws on there like that and then those two are going to connect into the parallel connector so one, oh, oops. so one of those goes in there pin's not quite lined up sometimes that happens for some reason I don't really know why but get something in there and straighten it out to the main one that travels down to the shed. So that's how you do an MC4 connector. They're quite easy, I don't really like the connectors very much because you can't really take them apart or anything once they're together but they're alright I suppose. Okay so there's a nice little uh, solar upgrade there so wired up with proper connectors. Sorry about the wind. So there we go. That's a thousand, just over a thousand watts but 1020 watts I think it comes to yeah 1020 watts exactly what the charge controller can handle so 
and that's maxed out now so obviously there's no sun at the moment and they're only pulling in about an amp or something but when the sun comes out thousand watts which is lovely so that's uh hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching